Palantir is, um, uh, we believe today, um, uh, using technologies that we will find out about five years from now. They Not just Chinese ADRs. I'm going to throw out some number, uh, some names. Uh, Soaring Eagle Acquisition, the blank check company, Farfetch, the online retailer, Palantir, Pfizer, uh, Semaphore are some. Two Simple Holdings, or Dave Wilson highlighted it uh, a couple of weeks ago. These are names that you've been buying. Highlight a couple of them in your thinking. Um, well, uh, I know it's a lot. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, well, uh, Two Simple, the, uh, which. Uh, has it, it was a spec and uh, it fell to earth, <laughs> and we were able to get a very nice sized position even in our flagship fund. We are looking for autonomous uh, plays, and autonomous trucking holds incredible promise. Uh, we believe that autonomous trucking will be able to deliver freight uh, uh, less expensively mm -hmm. than rail does now. Now, if you think about it, human-driven tr uh, trucks, uh, uh, transporting freight by uh, uh, human-driven trucks costs 12 cents per ton mile. That's not the way a lot of people measure it, but we think it levels the playing field. Rail is 4 cents per ton mile, and uh, we believe autonomous trucks will be 3 cents per ton mile. Mm -hmm. So we believe that uh, half of the freight in the United States that is delivered by rail today has an opportunity to shift over to autonomous trucks in the future. It's a, it's a huge opportunity. Um, let's see. Some of the uh, uh, SPAC names uh, that, that um, you have you uh, read out. Game Sorry, Post, Eagle, yeah. Four. Yes. Uh, well, uh, we're, we're getting into... Um, Areas within the genomic uh, revolution, first, very importantly, into mm -hmm. proteomics, uh, a huge new field. Um, we've we've uh, 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 been spending a lot of research dollars on uh, DNA and RNA, but RNA is, is uh, uh, really the messaging for proteins, which actually are the earliest, where we see the earliest manifestation of disease. So it's going to be a huge new space. And so some of the names you see coming into the portfolios um, are those. And um, you're going to have to uh, uh, read some of the other ones. Uh, well, I think again. like so Pal Palantir is one. And actually folks are yeah. emailing me and said, what, you know, have Kathy talk oh. about, about Palantir and, and her recent buy. Sure. Uh, Palantir, uh, we believe that Palantir has the opportunity to usurp a lot of AWS, Azure, hmm. uh, Google Compute uh, over time. It is pushing uh, artificial intelligence out to the edge. And Palantir, because I think it's roughly 60% of its business has been with the government, much of that in intelligence agencies. Palantir is, um, uh, we believe today, um, uh, using technologies that we will find out about five years from now. They, we believe, are so far ahead because of their expertise uh, uh, in intelligence uh, that um, it's going to accrue to the company's benefit in the commercial space as well. So they've Entered, I think, a year ago, 85% of their business was with the government. Today, it's closer to 60%. Uh, and so we've got um, all of the commercial uh, side to go. So uh, I, I don't think people understand how advanced Palantir is technologically mm -hmm. and how its platform technologies pushing A out to the edge uh, are, going to, uh, are going to really take share over time from the more centralized services. It's interesting that we're thinking about them that way now in the cloud.